This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollamore. So it appears Marjorie Taylor Greene has been booted from the Freedom Caucus, the Attention Caucus, the Chaos Caucus. And it's not for a reason that is reasonable. It really does paint the Republican Party in the most radical of lights. They are they're, they're showing their asses, as it were. They are letting everyone know just who they are. And I want to talk about this. But before I do, first I'm going to read a little bit from this political article, which is the, the, the outlet that broke this. But I want to play for you, not like you need a reminder, but for those of you who may need a reminder, just how radical Marjorie Taylor Greene is. Just some of the unhinged things that she believes and has espoused over the years. These aren't going to be clips from her when she was a kid, when she was a young adult. These are, these are things she has said and proclaimed and believed as early as last year. She's, a, she, she's an over 40, she's almost 50-year-old woman. The, the days of, oh, I just got swept up in the moment and, and I believe some wacky things. Those are excuses for people of much, much younger years. Not for Marjorie Taylor Greene. I'm going to play this, and then we're going to dive into this article, just a few paragraphs from this article, talking about the reasons and the motivations behind kicking her out. Because, spoiler alert, it's because she's too mainstream now. She's not radical enough. So if Marjorie Taylor Greene is mainstream, what does that tell you? about the rank and file elected Republicans and those people who vote for them. Anyway, very briefly, uh, I'm going to play this clip. I'll put a timer on it so you can track where we are and how much is left of Marjorie Taylor Greene over the years and the very mainstream things she believes. Democrats are now controlled by the jihad squad led by AOC, the little communist from New York City. January 6th was just a riot at the Capitol. And if you think about what our Declaration of Independence says, it says to overthrow tyrants. Have you guys been following 4chan, Q, any of that stuff? Anybody? All right, so um, Q is a patriot. We know that for sure. There's possible satanic worship and maybe that all these scary things that that people talk about on what's considered conspiracy th conspiracy sites and conspiracy theories really may be true um but that's that's what Q has been telling everyone Q is trying to tell people on these forums and 4chan and he's trying to tell people the truth and he does it through questions asking questions asking questions and giving clues and so it's basically you know you're going down the rabbit hole you're following the white rabbit and you're figuring it out have you seen and i've asked will this before the picture of ruth bader gingrich walking through the airport this woman has been drawn over for how many years and all of a sudden she's walking straight up right like it's a whole new it's person. Almost like Do a body double, like that Hillary is Clinton. Ruth. Yeah, like bo like yes. a body double for Hillary Clinton. So it's interesting. Yeah. So I do not believe that was Ruth. No, I don't think so. We had witnessed nine eleven, right? We had witnessed nine eleven, uh, the terrorist attack um, in New York, and the plane that uh, crashed in Pennsylvania, and the so-called plane that crashed into the Pentagon. It's odd. There's never any evidence shown for a plane in the Pentagon. But anyways, I won't, I'm not going to dive into the 9-11 conspiracy. I've got a question for you. How do you get avid gun owners and people that support the Second Amendment to give up their guns and go along with anti-gun legislation? Maybe you accomplish that by performing a mass shooting into a crowd that is very likely to be conservative, very likely to vote Republican, very likely to be Trump supporters, very likely to be pro Second Amendment and very likely to own guns. Is that what happened in Las Vegas? Is that why um, the country music festival was targeted? I have a lot of questions about that. I don't believe Stephen Paddock was a lone wolf. I don't believe that he pulled this off all by himself. So that <laughs> that happened during Barack Obama's presidency. 
Okay, but let's keep going. Let's keep talking about whatever happened. Yes, I do believe he is a Muslim. And yes, Valerie Jarrett is too. And she's a big issue too. MS-13, everyone. Under Obama came MS-13. There's a lot to that. You have to understand. There's they have very good they had very good relationships with MS13. MS13 was basically like they were the kind of the henchmen of the Obama administration. They did a lot of the dirty work. Seth Rich. Seth Rich was murdered by two MS13 gang members. That's what I mean by dirty work, okay? And I think Republicans need to always remember that and never forget it. And we have to understand the enemy that we're dealing with. This isn't the party that we should work with across the aisle because you can't work with communists and you can't work with liars and you can't work with cheaters. We need to treat them exactly how they are. That is too mainstream for the Freedom Caucus. That the de facto speaker of the, I mean, without Marjorie Taylor Greene's help, and this may be part of the reason that she was kicked out of the Freedom Caucus, without her help, Kevin McCarthy would likely not be speaker. She wields immense power in the Republican Party, immense influence. This is the headline, Marjorie Taylor Greene booted from House Freedom Caucus. The vote occurred nearly two weeks ago, shortly after the Georgia Republican had called then fellow Freedom Caucus member, Representative Lauren Boebert, a pejorative in a verbal fight on the House floor. That's what she called her a little bitch, remember. Uh, the House Freedom Caucus voted to remove Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene from the pro-Trump group last month, a member confirmed Thursday, indicating that her fight with Representative Lauren Boebert was part of the group's reasoning. Quote, a vote was taken to remove Marjorie Taylor Greene from the House Freedom Caucus for some of the things she's done, unquote, said Freedom Caucus board member, Representative Andy Harris, a Republican of Maryland. When asked if she was formally out, he replied, as far as I know, that is the way it is. So <laughs> that is an interesting quote. A vote was taken to remove Marjorie Taylor Greene from the House Freedom Caucus for some of the things she's done. None of the things that you just saw on that clip are among this list. It's not that she's too stupid to be in the Freedom Caucus, that she doesn't know the difference between a Petri dish and a peach tree dish, that she doesn't know her history so, so terribly that she thinks gazpacho and Gestapo are the same things. She, it's not about that. It's not about her believing that 9-11 was a conspiracy and an inside job and that there was no plane that smashed into the Pentagon. No, it's not that she believes that Democrats are Satan-worshipping pedophiles. No, 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 it's not that. It's that she's too, she's too mainstream. It's the first public confirmation of Green's fate within the conservative group. The vote was first reported by Politico, though it was unclear at the time whether she had been ejected. It took place less than two days after Green got into a verbal floor fight with Freedom Caucus member Bobert, during which Green referred to the Colorado Republican as a quote-unquote little bitch. <laughs> After the exchange was first reported, Green confirmed the fight and doubled down, adding another pejorative. The two have clashed repeatedly in the past, but Harris indicated that the particular spat had factored into the conservative group's thinking. Quote, I think that the way she referred to a fellow member was probably not the way we would expect our members to refer to other fellow, especially female members, Harris said Thursday. See, they don't have a problem with her calling fellow members of the House of Representatives uh, terrorists. Jihad squad. They don't have a problem with that. But if you call Lauren Boebert a little bitch, all of a sudden it's a problem, according to them. It, it goes on. It's the first time the conservative caucus has booted one of its own and reflects the group's increasing level of frustration with Green. She's closely allied herself with Kevin McCarthy this year, lining up against many Freedom Caucus members when she supported both his Rocky speakership bid and his debt deal with President Joe Biden. At the same time, and here's the final sentence here, at the same time, 
The group is working through a post-Trump crossroads with some fretting the group is at risk of becoming too friendly with the party establishment. They believe Marjorie Taylor Greene is too mainstream. And again, I'll ask the question. If Marjorie Taylor Greene is mainstream republicanism, the party is doomed. The party is what I have been uh, calling it for years, a radical organization. The most um, effective white supremacy organization on the planet. This is a woman who speaks, accepts invites by Nick Fuentes, the little Nazi puke, accepts invites to speak at his white nationalist conferences. Mainstream. Uh, very bizarre. Uh, look, you, you love to see the other side uh, infighting and wasting their time uh, battling one another. That's great. But there are larger implications of this particular move that, that signal exactly what's happening within the Republican Party. What do you think? I'd love to know. You can call. Leave me a brief voicemail, 714-576-4054. Of course, you can email me absolutely all the time, every day. Put me in your, in your uh, address book, daily at dollamore.com. Uh, if you want to help support my work and produce my work, I would appreciate it. Uh, you can click the join button below, become a channel member. You can click the super thanks button below, or you can go over to my Patreon page, which can be found by click clacking your way over on your, on your keyboard, I guess with your thumbs either, uh, patreon.com slash I doubt it podcast. I love you guys. I appreciate you. Follow me on social media. I'm everywhere at Dollamore, and I will see you next time. Until I do, be genuine. Don't be radical. Take care of one another.